dear students good evening and a warm welcome to csat made easy 2025 series where we discuss the most exam specific questions and concepts from the angle of your csat paper of 25 year i am sachin gopnal and our today's topic of discussion it would be number system okay let's begin with the first question where we will learn a basic concept and gradually rise up to exam level questions this is the first question what is the sum of all the numbers from 0 to 9 okay let's count the numbers from 0 to 9 what would the sum be we can actually manually count them the numbers are less here we can actually count them however there is a formula readily available for it 0 it doesn't matter because 0 plus anything that would be 0 sum of the first n natural numbers where do the natural numbers begin from they begin from 1 right sum of the first n natural numbers it is denoted as summation n and there is a formula for it n into n plus 1 divided by 2 so let us use it in this condition it would be summation 9 because first 9 natural numbers 1 to 9 and what will the form, uh, formula turn into it would be 9 into 9 plus 1 divided by 2 and that would be how much that would be 9 into 10 divided by 2 so 90 divided by 2 that is 45 okay so what is your answer your answer is option a 45 okay easy question easy concept what is the concept that we learnt here the sum of first n natural numbers is it can be obtained by the formula n into n plus 1 divided by 2 okay let us go to the second question where we will learn another basic concept. How many times does the digit 3 occur in the integers from 1 to 100? Okay. Let us consider all the 100 integers from 1 to 100 and they want us to count how many times the, does the uh, digit 3 occur. Okay. Where does 3 occur? Let us draw the numbers, let us write the numbers up, then it would be easy for us to imagine. Okay. This would be the numbers, right? See that I did not begin the numbers with 1. Usually it is written like that, right? 1 to 10, 11 to 20, and uh, 21 to 30. However, we will write it like this for easy imagination. I will tell you why. Now let us count. How many times does the digit 3 occur in the units place only? Let us not talk about tens place, let us talk about units place only. Where how many times does the digit 3 occur in the units place? It occurs here, right? 3, 13, 23, 33, 43, 53, 63, 73, 83, and 93. So, how many times? From 0 to 9, that would be 10 times in the units place the digit 3 occurs 10 times in the units place okay then let us talk about tens place tens place where does it occur here nowhere here nowhere here yes where from 30 to 39 i did not write 30 here because we want i wanted to imagine it in a single column for easy imagination okay no 3 occurs here How many times again? This is also 10 times. So, in tens place also, the digit 3 occurs 10 times. And 100 is a, oh, the only 3 digit number, there is no 3 there. So, in total, from 1 to 100, how many times does the digit 3 occur? That would be 20 times so your answer is 20 okay now let us go to the next question what is the sum of all the digits that uh, that appear in the integers from 1 to 100 okay these are all the digits that occur in the uh, numbers from 1 to 100 and they want us to calculate the sum of them it is not the sum of the numbers itself it is not uh, start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and up to 100. No, they want us to calculate the sum of the digits for example. 
here 22 it is contributing 4 to us because 2 plus 2, 55 it is contributing 10 to us, 5 plus 5, 74 it is contributing 11 to us, 7 plus 4. So that way they want us to calculate the sum of all the digits in the number from 1 to 100, 100. it is not the sum of the numbers themselves, okay. They want us to calculate the sum of the digits, okay. How do we do that? First we shall see how many times do each of the digit occur, then we will uh, try to add them. So, we, we already know that the digit 3, it occurs 20 times. We know that the digit 3, it occurs 20 times from 1 to 100, okay. The similar way, the digit 2, it also occurs 10 times here and 10 times here. So, digit 2, it also occurs 20 times, it also occurs 20 times. Take any other digit, take 8, 8 occurs in tens place, in the units place 10 times here and 8 occurs in tens place 10 times here. So, the digit 8, it also occurs in total 20 times. The similar way, all the digits from 1 to 9, all the digits from 1 to 9, sorry, 1 to 9, each of them, they occur 20 times from 1 to 99. So, what will they, what will be their sum be then? Let us calculate it. Now, we found out one thing, how many times do the, all the digits occur. So, 9 will occur, let us begin with 1, sorry, 1 will occur 20 times and 2 will occur 20 times and 3 will occur 20 times such way till 9 all of them they will occur 20 times done let us take 20 common now if you take 20 common that would be 20 into 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus that way up to 9 okay from 1 to 9. Now, we have a formula for this rate from 1 to 9, summation n, summation 9, in this case it is the sum of 9 first natural numbers. So, that would be 20 into summation 9 and what is the formula for summation 9? That would be n into n plus 1 by 2, in this case that would be 9 into 10 divided by 2. So, what, would you, what do we get? 2 divides 20, okay. So, we have 100 into 9 into 100, that would be 900. 900 is what? 900 is sum of all the digits from 1 to 99. We left out 100. So, what is the only one digit in 100? It is 1. So, we have to add it. So, we have to add 1 to this 900. So, you will get 901. The sum of all the digits in the natural numbers from 1 to 100, that would be 901, 901. So, your answer is option C, 901. Based on this, a question was asked in the 23 paper. That will be your homework question. Let us look at it. This is your homework question. What is the sum of all digits which appear in all the integers from 10 to 100? We will calculate the sum of digits in the integers from 1 to 100, they want you to do it from 10 to 100. First calculate how many times each, each digit is occurring between 10 to 100, uh, then uh, use the summation formula. In this table, just leave out this one column, that is all, just leave out this one column and uh, in the table you will uh, you will get from 10 to 99 and do not forget to add 100, the one digit at the end, then you will have the answer. Do solve this and leave your answers in the comment section. We shall discuss the answer to this question in the next class. And now it is time to discuss the answer to the previous classes homework question. What was the question? This was the question. 3 of the 5 positive integers P, Q, R, S and T are even and two of them are odd. Okay. There are five positive integers and three of them they happen to be 
even and two of them they happen to be odd, not necessarily in that order. Consider the following, P plus Q plus R minus S minus T is definitely even. 2P plus Q plus 2R minus 2S plus T is definitely odd. Which of the above statement is or are correct? Okay. Let us evaluate each statement. Let us evaluate the first statement. Okay. This says P plus Q plus R minus S minus T it is definitely even. P plus Q plus R minus S and minus T. What do we, what is the knowledge that we need to solve this? It is, the knowledge is only this. Odd number plus or minus odd number is equal to even number. Then even number plus or minus even number that is also an even number. However, odd number plus or minus even number that will give you an odd number. The other way also even number plus or minus odd number that will also give you an odd number. This is the knowledge that we need to answer this question. Okay. Now, let us let us group them for the positive integers one side and the negative integers another side. Okay. P plus Q plus R minus let us take a minus common P plus Q plus R minus S plus T. Okay. Now, three of them are even. Let these three be even. If these three are even, then even plus even, this would be an even. Then uh, this whole thing plus R, even plus even, that would also be even. And here we have odd plus odd, that would also be even. And ultimately it would be even minus even, that would give you even. Okay. In one instance, we checked that it will give you an even uh, digit uh, resultant. Let us try an, uh, another thing. Another thing. Let us put odd, two odds here and three even numbers here. Odd plus odd, even and all of these are even numbers. So, and again you get even resultant because check it out. 1 plus 1 plus 2 minus 2 plus 2. This would be 2 plus 2 minus 4. So, that would be 0 and in this context we will take 0 as even and also we will take negative integers also as even if they are divisible by 2. If 2 into something gives you a number which happens to be a whole number an integer then that is even. Okay. We, we shall try the other way we shall try all of them, them to be even and the these ones to be the negative ones to be odd then also you get even. Okay, let us put one odd here and one even here. 2 plus 1 plus 2 minus 2 plus 1 that will give you 5 minus 3 2. So, wherever you put that odd number, we put uh, first we put two odds here, then two odds here, then one odd here and one odd here. In all the context, ultimately the resultant is even. So, Statement 1, it is true. Let us evaluate statement 2 now. Statement 1 is true. Let us evaluate statement 2. 2P plus Q plus 2R minus 2S plus T is definitely odd. Let us take the coefficients with 2 one side and the coefficient with 1 another side. This will give you 2P plus Q plus 2R minus 2s plus t that would be if you take 2 common p plus r minus s plus q plus t. Okay. How many even numbers and how many odd numbers do we have? We have 3 even numbers and 2 odd numbers. Okay. Let us take all of them to be even and these to be odd just doing trial and error. Okay. Let us take an example 2 into 
2 plus 2 minus 2 plus 1 plus 1. Take any random even number and odd number, it does not matter. Take the smallest one possible so that your calculation gets easier. This would be how much? This would be 2 into 2 plus 2 that would give you 4 plus 2 which is 6. Okay. In the first instance itself, it gave us an even resultant but what is the uh, question telling us? 2p plus q plus 2r minus 2s plus t is definitely odd. No, we got an even resultant here. So, option 2, sorry statement 2, it was wrong. So, what would your answer be? Your answer would be 1 only. Okay. I hope that you found today's class helpful. If you watch the, uh, if you like the class, do watch us regularly. We upload one episode every evening and also share the YouTube link to this YouTube uh, video to your, through, uh, to your friends through WhatsApp and Telegram. Okay. Thank you and most of all, happy studying.